glee, 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 glee. Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. In today's video, we're gonna restyle this Challenger that was donated probably about a year back. She's a 164 scale, big time muscle made by Jetta Toys. I've been seeing these killer paint jobs all over Instagram. This is one of them. I think it's a 240SX, but man, it's like a modern day Spectra Flame. Someone's got the same style of paint job on a Challenger and it just looks killer. Man, look at those big boots. I think the Mopar guys are gonna wanna see these ones. They're kinda like a rally rim with a red line. And they also have that kind of muscle machine vibe. Might be a little bit bigger, but I think she'll look pretty sweet. Right now, YouTube's paying money out of a fund that they set aside to pay people to make those shorts videos. So you've seen I've started posting those on the channel a little bit. I've been posting them for a different reason. Right now, anybody who has a YouTube account can get paid to make shorts if they get good views. So you don't need subscribers. You don't need to be um, monetized. All you need to do is Make some shorts that get a bunch of views, and if anything goes viral, you could have a nice payday coming your way. All right, we're roughly sanded to 1200 grit. I don't think we're gonna have any problems polishing this one at all. I think she might even look real nice. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. She's a little bit dirty, but this is a real good one to tape out the trim on. So I'd like to get this painted and get it dried and back to the bench ASAP. I think I want to go with the same Spectra Flame Red on this one, but I do got to give it a good degrease first with some dish soap and some warm water before I can paint. Maybe we'll do that. We'll get this baking. Let's we'll see about fitting those wheels on that base. Here's our Challenger. She's looking pretty spiffy. It's got them red line vibes. Hopefully it goes well with these big mags. I don't know if it's gonna match these mags anymore. I don't know if I'm feeling them. The reds, if the reds matched, I'd probably be a little bit more, I don't know. Might have to use something different here. Unless I can flip these tires around. Could I do that? Glee, 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 glee. I think that's gonna be sweet. I don't know my stripes for Dodge, but I wanna do like a full length stripe. That's got intermittent brakes in it. All right, let's just start here. I don't actually see very well. Something like that. I know it's hard to see. What do you think? Doesn't look like much, does it? One thing I'm a little bit concerned about here is sticking this tape all over this nice car right now. Hopefully it doesn't put a bunch of glue residue all over the paint. Because it's not going to get clear coated again. It's already clear coated, man. We're going to tape off these. That's as far as that's gonna go. Is that gonna be sweet? I don't know. I sure hope so. I hope I did a good job on that. 
I'm gonna have to flip it around, do the other side now, and hopefully everything's gonna be okay. It's a little black pigment. And this is matte clear coat here, so I just wanna match it. It's kind of 50 50. A little bit of reducer. I'll be able to use the same stuff for the hood as well. So once I get the stripes done on the side, I'm hoping everything's hunky dory and I'll come back to the bench here. I'll mask coat the hood. All right, let's check the damage here. These little strings. This would be really cool if a guy did a stripe like this in white and then just match the interior and stuff. Our interior is probably gonna remain black just because uh, I think it's, it's what the vibe is on this car. I think that's looking pretty good. So why don't we, I guess we'll mask out the hood now. I still got the airbrush loaded up with the black candy. The area around the headlights right now is red and that needs to be black. So we'll just take care of that right now since we're here. What do you guys think so far? This is looking pretty sweet. I think the reveal is gonna be super nice on this one. But we still got more work to do here. Got a couple little dents here I'm trying to fix. I'm just sand them out of this bumper if I can. This is gonna be the easiest wheel swap ever. This is from a completely different brand of car. But look at that man, she's just gonna fit right in there perfectly. I just gotta remove these little baby rivets. Easy peasy. Boop. 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 Ooh, they don't want to roll. They're a little bit too, a little bit too thick. Boop, boop. Reinstall our little tab. Do a little test fit here and we'll see. A little bit late in the game for a test fit, but you gotta admit that thing's looking pretty sweet. Glee, 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 glee. Gotta try not to touch the black there. I don't know how well it's gonna be bonded, right? Because I wasn't able to sand first. It messed up my nice finish, so I didn't really have a choice on this one. Hmm, kind of a bummer. I wish I did it the other way around. If you're doing anything with windshields, make sure to be on low speed, obviously, because uh, too much speed makes heat, and if you got too much heat, you could just completely damage your glass. Here's our Dodge Challenger. She's looking a little bit like a tune car, but I'm feeling it. I think any Dodge Challenger fan would enjoy this one in their collection. I really like doing combinations of uh, Spectra Flame and opaque colors. They usually end up pretty sweet. They look like high dollar cars, you know? Really enjoyed working on this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel. I'll say hello in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.